Dave, this is Cham Nee, where you first came into the line. Do you recognize it? Not really. I mean, types of buildings are the same, but uh, I don't recognize them. We weren't here that long. What do you remember about going into the line for the first time? Well, uh, just up here. Well, when we first got here, before we bedded down for the night, we turned and looked out into the field here, and there was, there was Americans that had been slaughtered by the Chinese. It was probably 50 or 60, never counted them, of course, but they were all caught in their sleeping bags. At first, I didn't really understand what it was, and people started saying, look at Most of the guys were half out of their bags, some not even out of their bags, some out of their bags completely. They shot them all, yeah, they just killed them all. They had no guards posted, no nothing. They just went to sleep. They thought they were in some kind of Disney World or something, I don't know. They thought they were safe? Yeah, I, I guess they just figured that the war was like way up there somewhere. That's about the first time I realized that the seriousness of what I'd gotten myself into. You know, I joined the army because I was mad at my girlfriend. And here I am now, somebody's maybe gonna take a shot at me and I'm not sure I really like that. I'm questioning my uh, wisdom uh, quite a bit at that time. In fact, all that night and the next morning going, moving out, I'm thinking, Jesus, what have I done? You know, and I'm, I'm sure I wasn't the only guy thinking that way. On February 21st, 1951, the UN begins its offensive with the Patricias leading the advance into the hills. They meet little opposition, and it appears the Chinese are fighting a delaying action to cover a full retreat. For the untested Canadians, it will be their first taste of the treacherous Korean terrain of steep mountains in cold winter conditions. We're gonna to try to find uh, Hill 419 which is where the Patricias had their first real action in February 1951. It's a whole pile of these hills. Here's a, here's a saddle over here. Look at there. That's, that, I bet you that's it. So this could be our baby over here. It looks like it there. Could be. It depends what's up here. I, I think around the bend there. Okay, we'll go up. We'll, we'll go up a little further. Because we it, came back. It, it wasn't that hill. That's too high. But that means. Yeah, I, that looks more like it. Okay, we'll get in. Let's go back and try it one more time. Okay. I think that this is it. Well, it sure as hell looks like it. Did you? I thought you said you came down the valley and attacked up the other side. No, no. We came down this way and up this way. OK. This is the hill I think we went up and dug in that night. Four night? Four. Whatever this hill is, I have no idea. But this is the hill that we, I, I think is 419. But I could be wrong. You think this is it? It sure looks like it to me. I mean, so, uh, it all fits. It's about the right height. Saddle's there. The other company was dug on the reverse slope there. Hey, come down here and show us where and you we were, up, were up here. Show me, uh, we, were, we were dug in how, how it's set up. Yeah, well, we were dug in on that ridge line up there. When I get up there the first night in the line, and the tomb commander comes along and says, come on with me. 
I said, what do you want? He said, we're going on a recce. I said, wait a minute, I just got here. I said, somebody else must have more experience. No, you're going and the uh, radio man. So we came down this draw here, across the valley floor, and went up that draw there, I don't know, maybe 200 yards up there, and came back, back up the hill, and got up the top, and I thought, oh, geez, I did a great job. First light comes, Toon Sergeant come in, comes along and says, Toon Commander wants to see you. Oh, what have I done now? So I go down and he said, uh, since you were down there with me yesterday, you can lead the company. Like, Holy shit, I just got here and here, what am I doing on? You know, and I thought they were picking on me or something. But that's just the way it turned out. I led the company up to about halfway up the hill. Soon Sergeant tapped me on the shoulder and said, stop. This is as far as we go. And the other company came through just as the first section stepped over a sort of line, you could almost say. The machine gun opened up and cut them all down almost, the whole goddamn section. And I was like one step from going around that corner. And uh, we never did get up there that day. The Chinese took off, and we got up to the top without any more casualties, nothing. And we got there, and the uh, four Canadians that were killed were laying stripped of their clothes. Well, it's the first casualty that I'd seen uh, that way. I mean, uh, they had some other ones, but uh, that was the first one I'd seen. So that, how did that affect your nerves? Didn't have time to think about it. I mean, uh, yeah, kind of sorry to see four guys, but hey, glad it's not me. About the way you think, after a while. Did you think the Chinese were uh, gone for good? Yeah, it looked that way. It looked like they were going back to China or something because they seemed to be pulling back. As soon as you hit them hard, they just disappear. But they had other plans, of course. Yeah. We all found out. The withdrawal of the Chinese army is deceptive. In reality, over 400,000 communist troops are preparing for a massive counterstroke against the advancing UN forces. We're just coming into Capion Village right now, and this is the location where the second Patricius came in April 1951. And Dave, do you recognize it? I don't see a thing I know, quite frankly. It's, uh, there was nothing here when I was here. It was just a couple of mud huts. So what were you anticipating when you moved into this location? The guys were enjoying the rest area, doing the normal stuff that they do there. That's when we got the order to move out we knew we were in for something, but we didn't know it was that big. I mean, uh, or as big as it turned out to be. On April 22nd, the Chinese launch a massive offensive, breaking through the front at several points. The Patricias and the Australians are immediately ordered to dig in and prepare defensive positions astride the Kapiong River Valley. But it's a difficult position to defend. Hill 677 is a steep ridge, a mile and a half across, and the Patricias have only 700 men to hold the final line, defending the road to Seoul. You can see that uh, we're rock walking right up here, so right around, around this area. Right. And you guys, we're spread out on these major hills up over here. Right. And you said that Stone, Stone went out and reconnoitered the, it beforehand, and he picked very specific positions. Yeah, I, I think that was a big uh, part of the action. I think if he hadn't come out in front here and had a look at it from the enemy,